Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. Happy Saturday to everybody. I was just watching some football, but we have to get a video out to you guys today because the market is so crazy right now and these promos just keep crashing the market. So I wanted to discuss them. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on my Hullet, which is actually unfortunate. I don't really know what's been going on, man. He's right now 10 million coins and um, it sucks because two of them sold overnight at 11.5. And I bought this card because for the last week, there hasn't been more than uh, like two, one or two on the market at a time. Uh, and they've been selling at 14 mils. So when I saw it yesterday at 10.6, I said, that's a no brainer. And I got them on bid. And then overnight, actually two sold at 11.5. I listed mine at 11.6 because mine was fresh. And on a card like this, a fresh haul, it means the world. And every hour there keeps getting a new one packed on the market. And it's really crazy. I don't know where all these are coming from. Um, that one has two owners. This one has his first owner and this one's first owner and people just keep packing this card and uh, Yeah, I don't really know where these are coming from um, But it sucks man and it sucks because I made a really good buy guys and and you know I I always like to admit for my losses and kind of get on here and I'll be like guys. I deserve to lose on the card, but it really sucks man because this is the best player in FIFA and I got a really good deal on him and he's but I saw the sell price all week That's the thing that sucked and that's why I bought him and you have other icons like Dino, uh, R9, uh, Vieira, these guys are all extinct still. And and the best player on FIFA is Poppet. Well, Vieira is 10-5, but again, Hullet should be more expensive than Vieira. Um, so yeah, it's sucky, man. It really is sucky because I made a really good buy. And it looks like I, I mean, guys, you got to understand, man, if I sold this car, I'm not selling this card until the market rebounds. But if I did sell it today at 10 mil, um, I would lose right now one and a half million coins on the card which is really really sucky and it it, it really sucks the more thing that sucks about it guys is because i shouldn't lose on this this is a really good deal i shouldn't lose so i don't know who i don't know who's packing these cards i don't know where they're coming from but every hour um every hour i, I had to complain every hour though guys there's a new one on the market every other hour and i've been watching them guys i know it's a new one because i watched overnight two of the new ones last night sell at 11.5 and these are more first owner cards. So that means they're getting packed and packed. And I don't understand, man. It's really sucky. So um, anyways, to, to get the video on a brighter note, uh, again, I wanted to tell you guys today, if, if you didn't see my tweet, we achieved 100 million transfer profit today, which is awesome. And we're in the top 20, but I'm not celebrating it too much right now because as you guys can understand, I've been making a lot of coins recently and, and, and buying a good buy like Hullet and now seeing you're going to lose a mil and a half on it, it really stings, man. It, it, I've been working really hard recently and... It just sucks. So let me know what you guys think in the comments I should do about it. Um, should I play with him? Should I just put him in the team and, and not really worry about it and just play with the card? Because I don't I don't really see him going below 10 long term. Um, and I don't think his SPC is going to be for a while. So if you guys think I should play with him, man, just let me know in the comments and I, and I will play with him. Um, he's fresh, which really helps the sell value. But again, I, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm pretty lost. Um, anyways, the market is really low. Um, it's good to pick up deals and it's not good to invest. Last night, uh, Rashford got a man of the match, and I was able to make some really good coins on Rashford. I bought them at 650. He sold them at like 770. Um, something that I've not done well on is Davinson Sanchez. Uh, late last night, I saw the UCL live upgrades, and so I bought about 10 Sanchez's, five Oriers, and five, maybe six to seven, eight Lingards. And I bought them all at the price they were, and now they're all down 20K. So um, I'm not making coins on those, which is tough because I thought I was. I, right now, um, I've, I'm kind of losing motivation to trade because of this Hullet. Like, that sucks a lot, guys. You, I, I wanted you guys to just understand where I'm at and how much that sucks. Um, market is really low right now. People are selling a lot of cards. Um, what this market is good for, guys, is not investing. It's very good at the moment for buying cards on undercuts for buying panic. And what do I mean by that? So when you're going through on Footbin, um, there's going to most likely be really good deals on some cards. Um, because that's the fluctuation of the market. So what I would say is if anybody today is looking to make some coins during lightning rounds or just in general, Flippin is your best friend. Use Flippin to understand prices, right? So so this card right here, Old Black at 155 is a really good buy. I know that because I saw him yesterday selling at 180. Um, Flippin says he's 159 and it's also cheaper than Xbox. So a lot of time you could see that. 176 yesterday, you guys can see. And uh, if you look at the hourly, he was 177, 17, so he's been 159, 177. So that's kind of the, the thing that you guys are going to want to be looking for. And that's how to make coins in this market right now. There's going to be people selling off teams. And there's also just a lot of market panic today. And that's going to just gather the ability for a lot of you guys to get big undercuts on cards 
and be successful with things like that. It's gonna it's gonna give you guys that extra hand um, to make some coins. I think personally, I think that's the move for you guys today is to to just trade with undercuts, trade with players that are that are going really low um, because of undercuts. A card that I'm seeing right now that is extremely low is Bellarabi. I think somebody, I think it looks like he's 39k right now, which is really really crazy. If anybody follows Bellarabi's price. Um, that's really crazy. I can't imagine that's actually on the market. We will take a look. Um, I can't imagine Bella Robbie's under 40,000 coins though. Another thing today, guys, is that the menus have been super slow. So that's not just you. Um, the menus have been really slow today. And another person was telling me that the golds, some golds you can't even, I don't even think some golds you can find on the market today. I don't know. People were, were saying a lot of stuff about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, Wow, Bella Robbie is 42,000 coins. If we can find any for like 40 with a hunter, that's crazy. I sold a few overnight at 52. Oh, okay, now we're getting this. Cool, yay. So yeah. I think I think the market is glitched, guys. I really do. I think I think actually I think that might be why prices are so low. I'm not positive, but it could be a big reason why prices are so low. I don't think people can actually search cards right now. And yeah, you guys can see the menus are really slow. Which sucks for me because I'm out here trying to record a video and then this is going on. Um, but yeah, it, it would make sense to me if a lot of cards are, are definitely on the lower edge right now, uh, because of this menu lag. Uh, let's see. For, I mean, yeah, 40, yeah, this is crazy. 40,000 coins for Bellarabi. Um, and I think this is going to be crazy for a lot of people because if, if nobody can get on the menus, then you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be able to get a lot of deals. And that could potential also potentially also be why the market is going so low it's because if nobody can actually access the menus, um, you're going to probably be successful with the market. I don't know what to tell you guys, man. They are doing promos every single damn weekend. Uh, it looks like the market can no longer take it because a lot of cards that I look at are just really, really damn low. Um, I don't know what to say, man. It's it's really hard to kind of trade or, or give investment tips in this market or or tips for you guys to not lose coins because the way they the way this market is, man. It's a promo every Friday. Um, now these promos, what happened was the last two for one promo really made people broke. And so now no one has coins and they just keep dropping promo after promo. And I think it's really, really, really impacting people's accounts. I also think people are, are sensing team of the season in the air. So I think that, that, as, that as that nears, people decide more and more every single time to sell up on cards, to sell teams um, and things like that. So I think that that has a market impact within itself. The fact that team of the season could be around the corner, I think is somewhat like valuable. I think we should we should think about it in the way that Yes, it could impact the market. Now, another card set that is dying today is Future Stars. Um, these have been the most stable cards in FIFA Ultimate Team for as long as I can remember. Future Stars always, always, always do well in price. I never, never, never have a problem with them in terms of trading. But today is the first time that I've actually seen a general impact on them, on all of them. Um, Gwendozi's really low. All these Future Stars seem to be very, very low in value. And it makes me wonder... People are really broke because the thing that I, the, the trend that I notice is when people start selling future stars, they really don't have coins. Um, these cards are, are potentially the most in demand cards on FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, I, I think Mendy's one of them. A lot of those kind of cards, guys. And it, it really is crazy how low some of them are going right now. It's, it's actually like shocking to me. So I would label this morning, guys, we, we are in a market crash. This stuff is really low. Um, and I think we almost had it last week. I think we got a sense of a rebound this week a little bit. It started to go up and then I think just another promo hit and it really screwed up the market. I think that's what we got to look at and I don't know what's going on with the menus right now. So, I mean, yeah, this is where we're at guys with the market. It ain't, it ain't great. I'm not going to I'm not going to kiss it up to you guys. Maybe buying Hullet was not the best decision, but yeah, the market definitely definitely is not good. Um, I actually can't even buy a card right now, so no wonder prices are low. I'm wondering if this is correlating to um, the menus. I can't even see half the cards in the market um, and I can't buy a damn card. So I think we're going to stick on footprint for a little um, because I don't want you guys to watch the sluggish, sluggish menus. Um, let me see. So Hazard 750. Yeah, I mean, guys, prices are really low. Pereira is 46K. I mean, that's pretty mad. I don't know if that's actually his price on the market. We're going to, I don't even know if I could look at his price because of how delayed these menus are, but that's the stuff right now that I'm seeing and I'm like, whoa, that stuff is low. Now, I would assume we're going to get lightning rounds today. Probably another Icon SBC. Um, so, I don't know how much of a market impact we're going to get. Um, but I would expect another Icon today. You're going to get another probably SBC card as well. Um, I would assume probably like something on that on that level of Hulk. Nothing like that crazy. 
Um, but just be careful if you guys are trading or have any cards because Hulk is dying in value and Hulk is dying for me uh, because obviously he has that SBC card. Yeah, Hulk, I mean, Hulk is 60K right now and he was 85 before uh, he got an SBC. So he's he's drowning on the market because of um, because of his SBC. So that's something that you guys are going to just want to monitor. It doesn't need to spook you out, but you just need to monitor it. Um, Sunny is low, 260. I, I really wish, guys, that I could I could give you guys um, a true market watch today. It's, it's kind of hard with these menus, but wow, Sun is really low, 265, 270. Is there a 250 on the market? If there's a 250, man, that's crazy. 262, that's low as heck, man. 262 for Sun? Wow, he was 298 yesterday. I'm gonna buy one, but I, I honestly, guys, I can't even guarantee that that's gonna be profit. Like, that's really low, but damn, the market is like beat right now. Yo, this is crazy, guys. The market today is terrible. Unbelievable today with this market. It's not, guys, the market is not good at all right now. Griezmann is low. Witzel's 55 freaking K. Witzel is 55 K. I mean, some of these cards, guys, during a week in the rewards, I sell probably Witzel at. I think I sold them at 70 this week. So when I see that price, I look at it and I say, whoa, that's low. 50K, 50K, 46. No, there's no. Oh my God, there is one. 53,000 coins, bro. What in the heck is happening? This is what I'm talking about trading wise, though, guys. There are opportunities for deals. If you guys look at hourlies, man, right? Like he has that spike to 60. It happens, right? So you're looking for that in this kind of market. That's what you're looking for. Just that kind of spike. And I also think right now is a really hot, hot time because this is the, uh, this is the pre 1 PM. Um, and if you guys know a little bit about the pre 1 PM, there's always panic, uh, before one always, man, every single time I'm on the market, there's always panic. Um, and this is because of lightning rounds. When you have a promo, people freak out that we're going to get, you know, that the world's going to end or something like that. That's what ha that's what essentially goes through the mind of anyone, uh, pre 1 PM. People are just lose their freaking minds. They sell their whole clubs. Um, they freak out, man. It's pretty, it's pretty wild. So yeah, that's where the market's at today, guys. It is pretty crazy. Um, you could probably label this as a crash. I would be careful buying anything. I don't know if it's, I, I really, guys right now, I don't know if this is going to go higher or lower. I can't tell. Um, it seems to me like people are broke and don't have a lot of coins. So I would try my best to not touch a lot of cards right now. Just play with what you got and don't panic with your team. Um, thank you guys for watching the video today. I will see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.